Welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Sorry about that. I couldn't log in. I couldn't log into my my Zoom account. How are you today? How do you feel today? Good, teacher. I feel good. All right. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Welcome. How was your day? Are you ready? Yes, we are ready. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, who could tell me what information do you remember about the yesterday's class? What do you remember? What did we do in yesterday's class? Who can tell me? I remember negative contractions. Mm -hmm. Can you give me an example of the negative contraction? Don't. Can't. Don't. Can't. Didn't. Didn't. Okay. Wasn't. Wasn't. Awesome. Very good. Um, at this moment, can anybody give me an example with the auxiliary didn't? Who can give me an example? Uh, she didn't go to the beach. She didn't go to the beach. Okay. What about somebody give me an example with don't? Somebody? I don't like coffee. I don't like coffee. All right. Very good. Um, we also looked at, in yesterday's class, uh, we worked a little bit uh, using the text. Do you remember the, we looked at the negative contractions and we looked at using did, was, and were. At this moment, I would like for us to review a little bit this section. Share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, Let's start with questions with did. 
when forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what. Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. So in yesterday's class, we were looking at this section. Who can give me an example uh, using a WH question? Who can give me an example with a WH question? Where did you go today? Where did you go today? Very good, Robert. Somebody what else? Time did you, what time did you get up? What time did you get up? Very good, yes. Another one? Another example? Where you... so... Okay, I really couldn't hear that one, but you got the idea. Now, today we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at knowledge check. Unscrabble the words to create the questions. Example, born, were, where, you were. So the question is, where were you born? You are going to do one through four in pairs. Any questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. All right. No, teacher. I would like for you to work together, and then we are going to check it as a class. Ready? Let's go. Fine, fine, thank you. And you? Fine. How was your day? Um, I don't know how do you say así como movido. <laughs> wow. It was uh, busy? Correct, busy. Okay, busy. <laughs> it was busy? Huh? What did yeah. you do? What did you do today? I pay uh, bills and oh yes <laughs> yes 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 okay the one uh where did you grow up 
Ok. Eh, tengo una duda. Yo la número dos la hice en mil maneras hasta que la pusieron en el, en el grupo. Pero no entiendo por qué está formulada de esta forma. How, how old were you? How old, uh, how old were you? In the year. In the years? Uh -huh. Y la había intentado de otras maneras. Sí, sí, de muchas. De muchas. Pero hasta que la pusieron, de hecho la había dejado mala, les soy honesta. Hasta que la pusieron en el grupo, yo dije, mmm. uh -uh. Sí, es que a veces es un puntito o, uh -huh. o ¿qué son cosas que así me pasó a mí en bastante, en unos tres que cuatro y sí pues, pero. ¿No le dio eh. problema a usted esta? No recuerdo, no remember, no me acuerdo si me, me, me causó esta especialmente problema, pero sí uh -huh. me han dado dolor de cabeza aún. Sí. sí. Bueno, la número tres. When did you begin to study? When did you begin to study English? No? In English. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And number four. When were when you were born? Two, four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. Estas solo son de, de, de armar la, la, la oración. La pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. When do you begin? ¿Ya terminó usted toda la plataforma, Nelly? Sí, ya la terminé. Ay, qué bueno. Ante noche la terminé. Sí. Ay, me ha costado. Me ha costado bastante este. Este, este, este módulo me atrasa, me atrasé bastante. Sí, igual, igual. Sí, es que como estaba de nueve a diez. Estas cosas, pero. ¿Usted en qué grupo estaba? Siempre de ocho a nueve. Sí, yes, yes. Ah, ok. No, yo estaba en el otro, en el de nueve a diez. Oh, Sí, uh -huh. ya más noche. Sí, pero por el trabajo me cuesta. Sí, sí, me imagino, me imagino. Cuando hay tráfico y me ha costado conectarme. Sí, temprano, no. o sea, a la hora. Había el horario de más noche. Por eso elegí el horario de más noche, correcto. Ajá, exacto, exacto. Sí, pero... Poco a poco, ¿verdad? Primero día vamos a ir aprendiendo. Sí. Poco a poco. <ríe> Porque sí. de constancia y a veces el tiempo no da, ¿verdad? Pero. Sí, lo que más me cuesta es como formular las preguntas, o sea, a la hora de lo mejor de preguntarle al ticha, es como que formular las uh -huh. preguntas eh, para cuando hay duda, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Yeah, sí. Eso es lo que, en lo personal, lo que más me cuesta. Sí, sí, yo igual a la hora de hablarlo, ¿verdad? Uno se traba, <ríe> quiere intentar armar las cosas y le sale. Sí, <ríe> sí correcto. Y quiere bastante vocabulario. Sí. Sí, la verdad que sí. Eh, veo que, que de nosotros quien tiene uno bien fluido es Robert. Yes, yes. Is everybody finished or do you need more time, guys? Oh, we're finished. We're Everybody's finished. finished? Okay, let's yeah. check. Let's check. Are you ready? 
Yes. 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 Teacher. Okay. Yes. Let's look at the first one. The first one says, "Grow up, you did where? What is the question? Where did you grow up? Where did you? Where did, did you grow up? Did you grow up? Grow up. Grow you? Up. Perfect. Grow up. Grow up. Perfect. Where did you grow up? Perfect. Number two, in the year 2000 old were you how? How, how old, old were you? How were you old were you, were you in the year in 2000? The year 2000. Perfect. Number 2000. three. Number three. When did you when did you begin to study? When, when, in, did, when did you, you begin 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 to study, study study English? English. Perfect. The next one. You born when, where? When were you when born? Were you born? Where were you born? Were you born? Perfect. Now let's check. Awesome. Number one, where did you grow up? Number two, how old were you in the year how two thousand? In the year two thousand. And number three, when so did you begin to when study begin English? To study English. And number four, when were you born? Any questions at this moment referring to this vocabulary? Yes, I have a question. All right, what is your question? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta para la número tres? Uh, number three says, when did you begin to study English? Um, you can yes. say, I began to study English, uh, for example, one year ago. I began to study English one year ago. Okay, thank you, teacher. Very good. Another question that you want to ask me referring to this information? Okay, let's look at 511. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing school. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario para discutir sobre la escuela. School days, listen please. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes, history, math. Uh, Todos pueden escuchar? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Elementary. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for... Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes. All right, so everybody listen and repeat. Classes. 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 History. Repeat. History. 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 Math. 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 Physical education. Physical education. Physical education. Physical education. Physical education. Science. 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 
Science. Science. Science. School. 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 College. 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 Elementary. 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 Hi. 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 Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. Junior high. Places. 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 Gym. 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 Lunch room. Lunch room. Lunch room. Lunch room. Lunch room. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections. Classes, schools, and places. For example, under places, you can add classrooms. I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Where did you go to elementary school? As many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Hi, everyone. In this class, you're... Okay. So for this activity, what we're going to do is we are going to categorize classes, schools, and places, right? For example, places, we say classroom. Schools, we can say, for example, junior high. Uh huh, or high school, bachiller. High school, all right? Uh, classes, you can say math. All right? So you're going to categorize, you're going to categorize this right here, here in the discussion forum. You're going to put school days vocabulary. You're going to say title, school day, vocabulary right and you're going to say for example class um for example places places all right and you're going to write class room or subject subject and you say math and then you when you finish you're going to put NVR. Any questions? No, teacher. Questions referring to this section? No, no, teacher. Okay. Everything is clear. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you have any questions, please raise your hand and I'm going to help you. Si tiene preguntas, levante la mano y yo le voy a ayudar. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's do it.
Hello, Paola. Eh, su compañero es Roberto Betancourt. Ok. Eh, ya ingresaron todos a la sesión privada. Solo usted ha quedado en la sesión principal. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Salen. It's a classroom, classroom, college. Oh, Dean, no. No, classroom, C. Sí. Uh -huh. Classroom, Class sí. Okay, uh -huh. sería classroom. Sí, colocarlo. Ajá. For example, uh, about classroom. Sería, quiero ver. Uh -huh. Let me see the image. Area elementary classroom history history uh -huh. elementary e yes yes math history elementary math mm -hmm. and you start with I think math mm -hmm. ¿Qué más está? Uh, está Jim, um, Jim no. no, ¿verdad? Jim no. Uh, Physical education. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Physical education. Okay. Uh, el otro sería places. Places. Let me see. Don't you? Sorry. Yes, yes. Um, Jim. 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 Uh, lunch room. Hello, Carmen. Me escucha, Carmen? Yes, yes. Sí, la escucho. Ah, no sé si mi internet. Yo Hello? creo que sí, porque se me, es como que se le corta. Oh. Uh -huh. Hoy sí eh, me escucha. Yes. Yes. Sí. Ok. Great. Great. Sí, sí, sí. Lunchroom Wait. sería también, ¿verdad? Lunchroom, yes. Yes. Quiero ver. Yes, yes. Uh, Playground. Play. Uh, I think. Yo pienso que sí. Sí. Yes. Pero voy a ver. Playground. Play. No. Painting behind story. Bad boy, stick it. Yo creo que es eso. I think it's. Faltaría okay. school, ¿o no? Yes. A school, yes. Yes. Sería. A school sería. Um, hi. Wait. 
hai bên về hai si yes Water. Um, Solo esa lista que estaba ahí. Era. Yes. Yo creo que sí, porque dijo que no. Yes. Ganaron. Elementary. Solo que esta cosita no me deja ver. El otro que está arriba, ¿cuál es? Ah, uh, college. College. Yes. Uh -huh. Clase, history, math, uh, physical education. Um, sí. Seguimos repasando. Sí, claro, claro. No voy a hacer. Creo que ahora es su turno, ¿verdad? In, in the class. Ah, uh, yes. In the classes are history, math. All right, I know that everybody might not be finished, but we must continue. Let's go to the following activity, 5.13. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán destrezas en detección de información específica en la lectura y secuenciación de eventos. Listen, please. And sequencing events. Uh, can everybody hear? Todos escuchan? Can everybody hear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Performer. As a child, Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S., Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay, let's look at the first section. What you're going to do over here is read this conversation. That I'll you're going to read, let's say, maybe two paragraphs. One, two, you're going to read it and you are going to record yourself on vocaroo.com you are going to select 
two paragraphs and you're going to read out loud and record yourself on vocaroo.com. Any questions? No, it's, it's, it's ever, everything is clear, teacher. No, no. Somebody, question? Somebody, somebody, somebody? No, no teacher. No, no, teacher. All right, let's do it. Do you have any questions? <laughs> Silvia, are you there? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, ya seleccionó sus dos, sus dos párrafos. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ay. <laughs> uh, I can read the first and the second. Okay. Can you for me? Oh. Okay. Hmm? Can you, Marlene? Hi. Okay, Hello. Hello, tengo problemas con mi internet, no la escucho bien, perdónenme. Yes, me too. Okay, voy, a, voy, a leer, voy a leer yo el primero y luego el segundo. ¿Quién leería el tercero? Okay. Me. Tercero y cuarto. Okay. ¿Quién es el sexto? Yo, me, me, Michelle. <ríe> sí. Ok, uh, voy a iniciar entonces. <ríe> Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24th in 1971. He was always a performer as a child. He appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band, Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well now. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and go to Paro's Mexican soup opera. Soon Afterward, he recalled two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on American soap opera in the Broadway show, Los Miserables. Then he made this first English language album. Next. That album was called Ricky Martin. If we had hit Living La Vida Loca, was on now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said, 
to a report for the newspaper? Uh, for a year, he was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap of All right, let's go ahead and move forward, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to be looking at Ricky Martin. Let's look at the first one. Where was Ricky Martin born? Where was Ricky Martin born? In San Juan, Puerto Rico. In San Juan, Puerto Rico. Where was Ricky? Oh, that's repeated. Where was Ricky Martin born again? Okay, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Um, how old was Ricky Martin when he joined the Latin boy band Menudo? Be sure. Hi. And la uno es when? Arriba, arriba. Es when? Ah, cuando. when. Correct. Okay, so that would be? On December. Yes. On December 24th. December 24th. 1971. That's correct. And number three, how old was Ricky Martin when he joined the Latin boy band Menudo? She was. He was. He was 12 old. years old. 12 years old. Why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because he was because he was frustrated. frustrated. Because he was frustrated and he wanted to frustrated. work. Okay, awesome. Now I would like for us to look at the final exam. We're going to be looking at the five sections of the final exam. You have listening section, complete the sentence, select the best answer, match the verb, complete the conversation and complete the sentences. So you have A, B, C, D, E, F. You have five sections. Let's look at this one right here. Listening. You're going to listen to the audio and answer the questions about the audio. You're going to listen to the audio and answer the questions about the audio. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. Yes. Uh, hello, Rosa. Do you have any questions? No. All right. La voy a poner con Maria Espinosa. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. yes. Muy bien. Entonces. Ah, una pregunta, una pregunta. Eh, de que al mandar los documentos tenía que ser fotocopia, ¿verdad? Yo digo las preguntas y usted las respuestas. Where are Helen and Mark going? A bag and department store. Okay, two. 
Where is the Smith's department store? Answer on the corner on first and main. Three. How do you head there? Walk up second to main, turn right. Four. What is Mark going to buy? A sweater. Okay. Perfect. La segunda de hoy. Okay. Ahora voy a hacer una Ahora voy con las preguntas. Sería number one. The department store is the back. Are Helen and Mark going? Ah, perdón. Seguimos en la misma. Ah, es que me había, me había pasado para... Perdón, perdón. Okay. Para la siguiente. Sí. Ah, ok. No hay problema. Pasémonos a la siguiente. Vaya. Ajá. The department store is the bank. Ajá. Next to. Ok. Um, Alt Coffee Shop is... The movie theater across forum. Mm -hmm. Maria's restaurant is Main Street and Second Avenue. On the corner of yes. Okay. Vamos a la siguiente. Okay. You question and your you and I answer. Answer. Okay. Okay. Your question or you or and I. Eh, ¿cómo sea? Okay. You. Your question. Okay. Were your parents born in the USA? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Two. Where did you grow up? I grew up. I grew up in Tokyo. Number three. Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Number four, when did you come to New York? I, I come, así es la pronunciación de ese. Sí, come. Mm -hmm. I come to New York, to New York in 1998. Number five, how was your first day in the USA? It was a little scary. Perfect. The siguiente. Okay. Aquí si quiere vamos una y una. Yo digo la una. Una. A, a picnic. Usted así la número dos y usted la tres completa y así. Okay. Perfecto. Number, Number two. One. Okay. okay, number one. Mm -hmm. At a picnic. Number two, play tennis. Number three, two, four. Okay, guys, um, time is up. It's time to go. Please finish the final exam and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.